Nick Hardley there posing the question, has the West gone far enough? Well, let's ask the opinion of Tan Desi, the Labour MP for Slough. Tan Desi, hi. Hi, Paul. Hiya. Uh, good to talk to you. What do you think of the West's reaction so far, and specifically our government's reaction to Putin? Well, Paul, as I said in the House yesterday, these are indeed perilous times for our friends in Ukraine, a democracy within our European continent. And short of sending British troops there, we must provide the Ukrainians with every possible support. So I was glad that the Prime Minister was talking tough and he seemed to be taking a strong stand against the continued Russian aggression and imperialism. But we're getting mixed signals because him and his ministers, they need to stop playing tennis with Russian oligarchs in exchange for money coming into the Conservative Party. And instead of just talking about sanctions abroad, we need to clean up uh, closer to home, including fully implementing the recommendations of the Russia report. Now, the Russia report was published by the very highly respected, the cross-party influential intelligence and security select committee. That was done way back in July 2020, almost two years on, and the government has not implemented those recommendations because that will ensure that we get a tighter grip of what's of what's going on and to stop some of the illicit funds that are coming in, especially from Russia, into our politics. Although, so, of course, I have think- to say, sorry, I have to say that Boris Johnson said that that's not happening and can't happen because you have to be a registered voter in this country for that to happen. Well, look, there are various ways in terms of shell companies, in terms of individuals being able to gain citizenship. They were able to do so uh, on business visas and so on. And it was widely reported for last year that the Conservative Party has received well over £2 million from donors with Russian links, so Russian uh, oligarchs. And that's, sim- uh, and that's simply been since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. So that's why we need to stop that flow of funds. And these Russian oligarchs, they're not uh, normal, uh, your day-to-day Russians. These are individuals who have been very much intertwined within the Putin regime, benefiting from it. And that's why we we have uh, tried to call that out. And we also... Okay, sorry, uh, we're, we're get, that... sorry, Tam, we're, we're getting off the subject of our response to what Russia has done in the Ukraine. Uh, you said short of sending troops, you wouldn't be in favour of any personnel going over to help then, would you? Well, look, not at the moment. And that's not what the Ukrainians are asking us. They're asking us for aid uh, in terms of uh, financial as well as uh, military aid, uh, which is what we're doing uh, in uh, collaboration with our NATO allies. But what needs to be done is in terms of the sanctions that we've imposed, that is not enough to frighten the likes of President Putin. Uh, what we need to do is to ensure that the Russia is actually excluded from financial mechanisms like SWIFT, and we also need to move to ban the trading in Russian sovereign debt. These are the sort of things that will make an impact. Uh, and uh, I want to commend uh, our European neighbours, Germany, who uh, announced that uh, Nord Stream 2 pipeline, in terms of the gas pipeline, that that would be suspended indefinitely. And if we contrast that, Paul, with what the Prime Minister has announced, all that's been announced is that three individuals, three oligarchs, uh, have been placed on the sanctions list, uh, and five relatively small banks uh, have also been placed on the sanctions list. But if we delve a bit deeper into those three uh, oligarchs, as as we debated in in Parliament uh, yesterday, that those three oligarchs had actually been put on the US's uh, sanctions list about four years ago. So we are already so far behind. It's th- th- These are not going to be having the punitive effect that we want. And that's why we feel that the, the government should be going much further. Uh, and uh, that's the, the best way that we can help the Ukrainian people. You did hear the Prime Minister, though, in the clip there, Tan, saying, I don't think people quite realise the UK is out in front in this because we have sanctioned, he didn't say three, he said 275 individuals. 
Oh, Paul, I wouldn't uh, believe everything that uh, the, uh, Boris Johnson says. I think uh, he's got a, a, a record, a, a proven record of uh, virtually pathological lying, as in consistently misleading the House, misleading uh, people and, and the broken promises. And we are not leading the pack. As I said, even the Germans, they've taken a much firmer stance uh, with regards to the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. The Americans and others are leading the way. But we can be leading the way if we actually imposed tougher sanctions and that okay, I, I okay so we've, we've covered that yeah. sorry we've got we've covered that so let's not repeat ourselves let's talk if i may tan about the call for russia today the news channel which many perceive to be the mouthpiece of the russian government there are calls today from labor for it not to be allowed to broadcast in the uk and indeed the culture minister has asked ofcom to look into this as well are you in favor of banning the tv station well, look, I'm, I'm pleased uh, that uh, the, the review is underway. We need to see just what sort of propaganda is being propagated by Russia today. Uh, and th th this, this, this is part of a wider theme of misinformation that we're getting from the, Ru the Russian regime. And that is what also needs to be tackled. Uh, and I think uh, uh, overall, uh, th there's also the issue of the elections bill, because that is looking into the flows of money into our politics from abroad. That's something uh, that we need to action, as well as an overseas entities bill. Now, that was promised uh, about five years ago. Uh, the draft bill was laid uh, during the times of the David Cameron government. That still hasn't come about. So there's lots of things that we need to do to clean up our house. Okay. Tandesi, a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Likewise.